Hey everybody, it's me. And I got this question from a lot of people here over the past few days, and it's all about setting opening hours and closing hours and having that have functionality in your app in terms of being able to turn things off, hide things, allow things, that kind of thing. So um, luckily for us, Glide released just last week, uh, the ability for us to specify our day and weekday in the math column of Glide. You could all always have done this in Google Sheets, but it wouldn't have been as instant in terms of the calculations. And now, now that we have the Glide column to support that, take a look at this. So here I have my hours. I have Sunday through Saturday. Um, Saturday or Sunday through Saturday, the weekday equivalent number for that is one through seven, where one is Sunday, seven is Saturday. And this is gonna be important later on. So um, I recommend having your days of the week just for display purposes. Then you have your one through seven, then set your start time and your end time. Now Glide interprets this date as uh, with a date as well. So if you set, if you say just 1030, Glide doesn't know how to interpret that necessarily. Um, so here I see this is a date column, right? Um, and so really behind the scenes, it, this is like December 7th to at 1030. So uh, what we need to do is convert this to just the hour and just the um, minute in terms of the value of the start time and then end time as well. Okay, so what I did was I created a math column here called start time value. And you can see that this 1030 a.m., regardless of the day, is now converted to 10.5. Okay, where 0.5 is obviously half of an hour. So if this was 45, so it would be 0.75 and so forth, right? So this mathematical formula looks like this. So I have the hour of the start, that would be 10, plus the minute of the start, that would be 30, and then divide that by 60 to get a fraction of 30 over 60, which is 0.5. Okay. I did the same thing, same calculation for the end time. So this 5 p.m. turns into 17, right? And so now I have a start time value and an end time value, regardless of the date of these columns, for each of my weekdays. Okay, then I have a math column that's grabbing the weekday of today, weekday of now. And that looks like this. You say weekday, now, or now replaces with now, okay? And so it says that it's a number five. Number five is a Thursday. Today is Thursday as I'm recording this. All right, so then we need to figure out what are our start times and end times of today. So I have a uh, now value. Well, first off, I have this relationship to now, okay? So this relationship to now is basically doing a relation between this number and this column. So I'm basically relating it back to itself. Okay, and it says, you can see here that it pulled Thursday. Well, you know, that's working, that's good. All right, now we need to figure out the value of what time it is right now. So I took this same exact formula but instead of choosing the end time or the start time, I'm choosing now. And so you see right now I'm recording at 1022. And so 1022 converted into a fraction is 10.37 because 22 over 60 is 0.37. All right, so we have our start time value, we have our end time value, and we have now. And what we're gonna do is figure out is our now value between the start time value and the end time value for today. So we're taking a look at this column. And so because our start time is nine and our end time is 20 and our now value is 1038, we should be open, right? Okay, so we have our relation and then I'm gonna do a lookup of today's start time and today's end time. And now I just do a mathematical comparison. So is this number on or after the start time? If so, then display one. Is this number on or before the end time? If so, display one, okay? So those if then columns look like this. Again, if the now value is greater than or equal to today's start value than one, and then the is before end would be is now value less than or equal to today's end value than one, otherwise zero. 
So you can see here that if we alter our start time for Thursday, and we say maybe they start at 11 here in the morning, and now you see that instead of a one, we should have a zero for our start time, because it's not after our start time yet. But if I change this to 10.30, Now we have 10.5, um, because it's 10.24, we see that it has not yet received, um, it's not yet after the start time, but by the time I'm finished with this video, maybe it will be. So actually let's, let's do 10.25 or 10.27 or something. So we can actually see it change in real time. 10.27, yeah, 10.27, okay. All right, so we have whether or not it's uh, after the start time and whether right now is before the end time. And then I have one more math column that says, you know, is it between that, is it open? And this is simply multiplying this number times this number. And so if we have the start time multiplied by the end time be zero, then we know that it's outside of our, um, our designated times. And if it's, both are ones, then we know that we're within our start time and end time, so this number will be a one. And then lastly, I have here a label, which is looking at this value here. And if this value is a zero, then we'll display closed, otherwise we'll display open. All right, so let's do this real fast here. If I can do 1026. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so now it's, it's after, and now it's before, um, and now our open label is there. So um, with this, now you can, you can use this value or you can use this value for hiding and displaying values, the buy buttons, the, um, you can even use this for um, display purposes. Hey, if, if it's closed, then uh, if they go to click on something, I'll say, sorry, we're not open right now. Show a notification, right? So lots of things you can do with this. Um, so pretty complicated. It takes about 10 columns to make this work, but zero spreadsheet formulas. So that's the way to go. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.